I am a Roblox developer, and today I thought I would try learning Python. I do know a bit of Python, but today I want to explore the differences between Lua and Python. By the way, Lua is what we use on Roblox. So I've laid these titles out on both code editors, and we're going to try going through all of these. So to start off with printing in Lua, it's really simple, just print i, and I'm pretty sure it's basically the same thing on Python. You just have to put a semicolon at the end. Run that, it's going to say hi. Execute that here, it's going to say hi. So it looks like printing is the same pretty much. We see the semicolon. Uh, works without it as well, looks like. Now we're going to move on to variables. So on Lua, we type local x equals i, and then I can print x. So just print x just like that. I can execute that and it works. However, on Python, this doesn't work because I don't think local is even a thing. So I'm just going to get rid of local and I'm pretty sure that should be it. There we go. It works. I'm also going to just comment out this code with a hashtag. On Lua, we use two dashes to comment out code. Just a small difference. Next, let's try creating a function in Lua. So this is really simple. Just local function. Then you name your function. I'm going to call it my function. Right here would be your parameters in the brackets. So I made this little function here. I'm just going to go ahead and call it in. So I just call it in twice. Let's execute that code and look like it works. I'm going to do the same thing in Python now. So off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure we write def function. I just searched it up on u.com and it looks like you don't actually have to write the word function. You just write the name of the function right after def. I'm also going to call it my function on here. And from memory, I do know that you put a colon and then you use tab. You guys don't use anything like end or closing brackets. I'm just going to do the same thing and write print seven in here and let's run the code. I did forget to call it in. Let's go ahead and run it again. It looks like it does work. The next thing we have is a loop. So in Lua, it's really simple. For an infinite loop all you do is you type while true do down a few times type end and in here you can put whatever you want however you do have to include a wait i just wrote print looping let's go and execute that but i did have to search this up again because in roblox all you have to do is write wait it looks like in normal lua you actually have to write it like this so that is something i just learned let's go ahead and try making a loop in python now i'm gonna try the same thing and write while true do i am pretty sure we use capital t's right here and i'm just gonna drop down and press tab i wrote print looping now i'm gonna run the code i completely forgot we don't use do in python i'm gonna switch that to a code I also should have realized it literally says invalid syntax under the do. Looks like it does work now and it's going infinitely. Let's try to put a wait in here. I'm going to try it the default Roblox way and looks like it doesn't work. Let's search it up again. Looks like it's really simple. All we have to do is write time.sleep. I wrote time.sleep. Now let's run the code. We do have this error, but I think I can fix it on my own. I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. Let's try it out. Looks like it is working and it's running this loop over and over again. And the last challenge, let's try creating a for loop. It's really, really simple in Lua. All we have to do is define a start, stop, and step. I'm going to write for i equals and then the start stop and step so one comma ten comma one and then all you have to do is write do drop down a bit put an end and in here oh, we can do whatever we want so i'm just gonna write print i dot dot hi let's go ahead and execute this code looks like what's happening is it's stopping at the loop so i'm just gonna go ahead and comment this code out now let's go ahead and execute it again for some reason it's still writing so i'm gonna delete this this is really confusing let's reload the page let's paste in the code and execute it and it looks like it is working now let's try doing the same thing in python to make sure the same thing doesn't happen again i'm gonna delete all of this code i do remember some of python i'm gonna see if i can remember how to create a for loop. It's probably really simple to try and replicate the dot dot high here, but I really don't remember how to do this in Python, so I'm just gonna get rid of it and run the code. It looks like it is working and it's not including the last 10, so I guess that part is not inclusive. But that's gonna be it, guys. I tried learning Python as a Roblox developer and it went okay. I am starting to learn Python right now off camera, so that is a side project for me. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.